Sophia Hepburn with the speech of an outstanding lady in science. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, students, boys and girls watching from Canada and beyond the waters. My name is Denesia Blake, and I am a Christian and a past student of Shiloh. I began my journey with the school in grade two at the age of seven and graduated from grade 12 at the age of 16 as a scholar of Ontario. With an admission scholarship, I began the University of Toronto in 2015. I completed my undergrad degree, double majoring in health studies and sociology, graduating with high distinction and felt extremely honored to have Mr. McHugh in attendance. I recently graduated from the Dalalana School of Public Health at the University of Toronto with my Master of Public Health, funded by the Ontario Graduate Scholarship. Currently, I am a research coordinator working on a UFT research project. I am extremely thankful for the spiritual and academic mentors that the Lord has positioned in my path throughout my life to shape the person that I am becoming. Tonight's theme, connected to our past, allows me to reflect on the figures who have paved the way for those of us in the African diaspora who strive towards great success. I want to take the time to reflect on the work of Dr. Kizmekia Corbett. Dr. Kizmekia Corbett is a black 36-year-old female scientist at the U.S. National Institutes of Health who has played a key role in leading the development of the Moderna COVID vaccine. Her interest in science began at an early age. She attended the University of Maryland, Baltimore as a Mayor Hoff Scholar, which is an aggressive program that mentors minorities and women in science. She studied health disparities throughout her post-secondary and double majored in sociology graduating in 2008. Her studies became instrumental to directing her towards a career in viral immunology, which is the study of immune responses to viruses. In 2014, she obtained her PhD in microbiology and immunology from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, only 18% of all students graduate with a degree in science, technology, engineering, and math, otherwise known as STEM. Among the 18% who earn STEM degrees, 2% are black. And according to Scientific American, 45% of women in STEM leave their jobs because they feel underpaid and underrepresented. As a result, Few women rise to top positions as role models for other women, though capable of working in STEM leadership positions and advancing their careers. Despite the evidence, Dr. Corbett defied the odds. Given the stark statistics for black women in the STEM field, it is essential that we see ourselves represented in these spaces where research evidence can be used to shape policy. It is especially important for myself to see this since it is my goal to enter the field of policy to help shape decisions that will lead to more equitable outcomes for black people in health, education, income, and so on. My village does not just consist of my family, friends, academic and spiritual mentors, but it includes role models like Dr. Corbett and those who came before her such as Rebecca Lee Crumpler, the first African-American woman to become a physician in 1864, Dorothy Lavinia Brown, the first African-American female surgeon in the 1900s, Dr. Marie M. Daly, the first African-American woman to earn a PhD in chemistry in the U.S., and the list goes on. Their contributions and countless others have set a good example for black women in these spaces to follow. Our village is connected to the past. We are able to achieve what we can because of our ancestors who came before us. As Romans 11 verse 5 says, 
at this present time also there is a remnant. And for that, I am thankful for this remnant that forms my village. Thank you for listening.